So I went to Nashville. It was, we did five games in five days throughout the South. It was an extreme road trip. The barnstorming adventure. The Baranowski right. barnstorming adventure. And uh, it, like it, this was right after Nashville. They were threatening to move the team. And the whole first period was dead in that arena. Like it was just silent. And I'm like, I see why they wanted to move it. And then early in the second, they scored. And that place lit up like nothing else for the rest of that game. And I had an unbelievable experience. Did we? I think we went back once. I feel like that. No, it like no. It, it left that good of an impression that I enjoyed the heck out of that after they scored. What a place! So we and want it, to go back. And it was yeah, a great arena. Sure. Yeah. It's a beautiful arena. Yeah, and 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 I think well, if you're willing to get on a plane and land, go to a game, and then get back on a plane and come home, like you could do it. Might be something to come up with. Bill's gonna pay for it. It's Next on Ugly Thirds. Welcome to Ugly Thirds, a show about jerseys. <laughs> I hate you guys sometimes. Um, today's just topic. Sometimes? Just sometimes. Yeah. Yes. But anyways, we'll work on um, today's topic will be. Nashville Predators for worst three jerseys. John and Shrems, take it away. There are none. Back to you, Phil. And on that note, mm. thank you very much for tuning today's in. topic: bashing <laughs> Phil and making him screw up. All right. So clearly, there are worst of because it's a lot of gold on this screen. Do not adjust your set. It's hard because one half of the TV wants to be like, "Oh, this is too dark over here," and the other half is like, "No, turn it down." It's also getting the, the penguin gold in the middle there, so it's like oh, a lot of gold right there. A lot of gold. Oh, there is a lot of gold. Sorry about about that, everyone. So, let's talk about the worst three jerseys. And I think this list is going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, It's atypical. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Not a clue. How many lists are going to have the mustard cat? Yeah, do not adjust your set. There's there's a lot of this logo. It is well distributed. That's good framing. should be here, but I only have one Predators jersey. So I'll stand up when we want to look at the customization behind it. Now, what team is this? So, it, <laughs> Because it's hard to see. Where they put Nashville in tissue paper here once. Yeah, it was it was the the gummiest crap, and I had one piece fall off. I think before I got it, and then the rest just kept until it said like a, a like like it had just like a handful it of was letters like bill a, at that point. Well, like, point to yours because that's where right, it's like, supposed so, to like, be. That's what so, it should, should have been. Be, you want a jersey cam? It I is it would. functioning? Well, we're gonna find Based out. Based on how you, your track record this episode. Jersey yeah, cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom closer. in on your. Uh, wow. Okay. Closer. This, this is very intimate. Bill, go closer. As, as far as they can go. Bill, if you can go any closer. It looked like that, but on this. You can actually see the stitching on that, too. Look at how good well, that's that why, is. That's why you have Jersey cam. Okay, now, now zoom out and try to zoom in on the original here as you use my, my patch. This is, good. this is going out for customization soon as a Drake Barra house. Or no. No, who did I say for this one? I no, I think it's it. Fairhouse. I think Fairhouse was my right. You can kind of see where there it is. You, you can, can see, where the, see the remnants, the ghosting of it. Uh, and and look, I'd buy another one, but these are going for like three fifty right now. It's bad. There was one on there I saw for I think two fifteen, and if it wasn't for trying to complete the reverse retro two collection, no, you would have. You would have. I would have oh, got I'm it. I'm sorry, yes. you're getting in your own way. I am getting now, in my way. Now look, there there's a lot of colors going on in here. People did not like how how cartoonish this is. I think the big tongue doesn't help. But like and like, anthropomorphic, like animal tongue words. Yeah, it was a little late for that cartoony era. I when did think. they wear this, Phil? They wore this. Um, you have the wrong one listed on here, so I'm gonna guess it's the 2001 to 2007 yes, third. You have this listed as two. Oh, I love yeah. the story behind this. No, so why they're named the Predators? While they were excavating the arena before a team was actually officially coming, they just built the arena because it's city in the arena. They found a saber-toothed tiger skull. And so Predators became the far and away favorite. And now the skull makes it to the jersey. Now, I also, Phil, let's jersey cam in here. We're going to get a lot of work for you in this episode. There is a thin, light blue. I think it might supposed to be silver, but it definitely comes off as, like, baby blue. Is it the same one on the teeth here? Maybe. It's just so thin. It's hard. No, it's, it's lighter. It's a light. I think it's supposed to be a gray silver, and they just... Watched it because you're silver here, so it's definitely not the same. But like goofy, people also didn't like how detailed and and accurate that is. 
Um, boy, these are some awful colors. Now that I'm looking at myself in this, like, well, and why it's awful, and why I said this reverse retro was so good. Yeah. Zoom in again, Phil, Phil. on the fabric. Uh, do, do, do. The fabric here is not your standard fabric. It is two layer. It is so something, John, some, John, something's going to break. John something's something's going to fall down. It is uh, gold, typical gold on top of navy blue. And that's why you get this mustard effect. This is not the only time this has happened. As I did things off camera, this is focus, concentration. Okay, light blue on navy blue. Even with contrasting stitching, as you can see in that, that particular picture. Wondering, what is, is this? That is a. Ah. Oh, keep zooming out or, or switch the other camera, Phil. That's going to be the third team they get in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> because. Everyone loved this, and it had the same underarms that this does, yep. right? It has the same ideas with all of this, the same two-tone fabric. That it works for that. It thing. works because the blue and the blue are complementary colors, and here they clash. And so it made a weird mustard, when it's not actually mustard, it's both team colors combined. Back in the 1980s, when we were fed food that who knows where it came from. Gerber made a like string peas and beans <laughs> thing that looks exactly like this, and I that was that is what I ate growing up, and it explains a whole a whole lot about not not the copious amount of Mountain Dew. No, okay, no, that was the nineties. Okay. This set the tone for the nineties. I'm um, forgetting that we are we are children of the nineties. But we are, yes. Uh, but this you change you change this color a little bit here. I think you do, and look, they, they dropped the underarms, which I guess they didn't really realize. The, Probably the, a good thing to drop those gussets. There's something about navy and silver that cannot be beat. It, it looks, and like like this, I, I don't know if these are deliberately fangs, I imagine there's a storytelling element in this design, sure. but it's unique in that it tapers together. Yeah. Uh, it works well. I think the splash of white does a really good job. This is not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. And why I love this reverse retro so much, because I think it improved the one real issue here, and that's the fabric. Yep. But you yeah. had to see that on the TV before you really like fell in love with that jersey. That's true. Because, because like, like before, it was... in person also helped. We were at, uh, what, Norfolk, and there was a Predators jersey in front of us. I'm like, wow, I really, I need one of those. Yeah. So. But here I say, you know, silver and navy, you can't miss. Well, no, you can. Yeah. But we're no. not focusing on the silver and navy component of this. It's more of the template that's being used. Well, when they wear this. I, I think it's supposed to be number it's one. It's supposed to be number one. So 2007 to 2011 home. I, ca I called some audibles on this one. It looks like a, like a graduate. Like, look at those things that well, they so, wear. Okay, so, okay. So this was the original that they wore. Uh, b before Bauer and and CCM. Oh, it's so much better. And it, like the the stripes make. I mean, they're weird, but at least they're whole. Like I, I don't love this. I don't love the under. Especially the truncates there. But you remember that era, the grunge era, the two thousands when everyone wore long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what this is. Yeah, that's what they did here. <laughs> now I can't unsee it. This is a this is a dark t shirt on top of a white undershirt, and. Combine that with apron strings that totally ham in this logo. This is a very wide logo. Why are you putting vertical elements beside it to try and make it more crowded? No hemline anything because of Reebok. Um, and, and just everything about it is such a miss. Um, I, I don't know. There's just I, there's not much good I can say about it. And then the, the road white, we, it had the triangle on it and said Nashville above it real chunky. I'm watching one of those on eBay. But like the, these are stupid expensive because no one bought them. Everyone either had the old ones and just waited, or they're just yeah. like, no, nah, I don't need it. I'm not going to the games because that's what this era was. And uh, it's like it, it's Reebok blowing it yet again, taking something that's good or at least decent and putting it on their template and just shoving it in there, and it doesn't work. Ooh, we can wait, wait and see what Fanatics does to the uh... – the next well, decade. Maybe there'll be many more rants for this show. Because number Smashville. one. Smashville. Yeah, I well, recognize that one. So this was, uh, you moved it. This was where originally our third worst, and now it's our top worst. Uh, top worst. Um, 
2022 Stadium Series, Nashville. So, and and this is this is the Adidas, which I find even funnier because there's loose threads here from the stitching. That's that's not coming up. That's that's well, the end of the stitch they I, did. I told you I wore it. And I felt something on my back, and the paper from the customization was still oh, yeah. on it. It's, it does happen. And it was rolling off. So yeah. Brutal for what it costs. Um, oh, I got that super on sale. So. The more I look at this, the angrier I get. Because, like, so they, first off, it's a nickname jersey. Yeah. I mean, this should be up there with caps and canes and but, sends. But, but, the, the. Biggest atrocity here is that nobody in their right mind calls them Smashville on TV. It's something that fans refer to, like, the city as a whole. Like, you are coming to Smashville to watch a hockey game. Nobody, Nobody's like, oh, yeah, the Smashville Predators. Like, no. But but people say, like, the Pens. You know, the Bolts are playing tonight. Like, like the Sens are playing. Like, this is completely <laughs> off the rails. This S? Is different than this S. <laughs> but this smashed. S is cut off. It's smashed. The S and the H are the same size, smashing But in. like it's not squished, it's smaller. Squishville. <laughs> Ville is going off the bottom where that really doesn't happen on the top. I mean, I guess like a, it's it's going more off the bottom. Zoom in. I didn't know this until just now. Did you see the right NP there. thing? Oh, I did not I, see I, the NP. 100% did not know this. Before. There's a hidden NP. Oh, yeah, there's a NP in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, oh. Well, because doesn't doesn't the uh, Word this is a uh, shoulder patch, isn't it? And in the shoulder patch, it's, it's a contrasting color. But so it does just, have NP in the shoulder patch. It, they it? think it does. Um, we're none of us are wearing it. No, no, no I'm wearing. Excellent, it. excellent. This is good. Um, <laughs> I, 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 and like I'm noticing here, like what it, that that's really poor planning as far as like putting a jersey together. What is this thing coming off of the? <sighs> that sound like a <laughs> probably. <laughs> Like a roaring, the, 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 the music, fake laces the musical, in this. Uh, predator. Zo zoom in on the laces real quick, because I didn't know I had laces. Vintage. Uh, that's how you know it's vintage. Like oh, just, well, laces. So they're they're fake laces. Well, they're, laces? I mean, they've been fake laces for a while, nope. but like, why even have uh, them? the camera can't even handle it? It's nope. just, just it's, can't it's, even. it's gone. Um, the one element of this that I wish they would have pursued had they done something with. This logo right here. It doesn't have to be. If if you take Smashville out and you put this as your big logo here, it's not okay. a very strong logo. No, but for a one-off, it would work very well. Sure. It would look vintage. Sure, it plays into your state you flag. Can even a put bit. like Nashville across or something. You like you could do something like Detroit Good. did with their Winter Classic. Good. Like um, and then like the only white in this jersey are these stars, and then it's a big white number. Like, you you look at the back here. It looks even worse somehow. There's thin note. Like, look at that nameplate. You crowded it's that in really there. Really crowded. It's difficult to see. Big old white number when the rest of it has no white. It says Preds here. And and let's jersey cam again to just show how uh, absurd that font is. Isn't that the font we use for our jersey? That's um, it's supposed to make it like, like pure prehistoric, like that lettering you see with like. Rock, the cavemen kind of feel. I, I mean, I think you're giving them more credit than they deserve. Like <laughs> normal like, size. You know, you know the movie uh, The Crudes? That's the font I compare that with. The <laughs> <laughs> I, I was Cut just going to say these letters, these letters are done. swollen, but I feel you win that. The Crudes. I, the Crudes. Now, like, the, it's a crude jersey, that's for sure. The the pick, like, with the, the one uh, jersey had the cityscape on it. And like could have had that like as the moon or something with the the whatever towers in Nashville. That one shorter patch, I think one of them. Oh, I know what you're doing. The, like combining those. I think this is two. actually from the arena, the Baylor Entertainment Center. Yeah, but like something like that with Nashville, and maybe like add the the three stars. That group they reference could've... back to the flag. That that anything. would have been better. Literally anything. Literally anything. They was... could have put Gritty's head on here. Like <laughs> you know what? That's fine. A A should be. It's a five letter five letters each. Why Why is an A in the center there? Like everything about the longer I look at this, the worse it gets. The Which more is, and, like, if you want to make someone so they can never appreciate anything in life ever again, you point out what the word kerning means, and it's the spacing of letters. Like in signs, you start seeing like one letter is just a little off, mm. or like like it's like a little off center because an I is too skinny or something. Like this is this is a kerning nightmare. Where are my graphic design I people wonder look if at this? Trying to make oh, that look like. Look like fangs. So see how it lines up with the M and the A. 
at the top, like bang. little little things, like maybe just fangs bangs. or like I guess not ears, but like fang e- and like weathered fang or eyes. Like that's the other thing. Like I, I think you're giving way too much credit. Now, not Cruise. to extend this any further, but like oh, yeah, right. what this you're wearing, their they're, they're outdoor, their outdoor. This is game. classy. It's so, and it's sold terribly. Yeah. It's, it's, made, it's based on the Dixie Flyers, which basically looked exactly and like has, that. Has and this. that logo, oh my that, goodness, that needs to show up somewhere. But this... <laughs> so your justification for Mustard Cat Not at One is... Look is how bad this is. Validated. Look how terrible this is. Like, bad, poorly done. It's, it's just a poorly conceptual. And on that note, He's Shrems. I'm John Phil. Get us out of here. Oh. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds. How much country music is in that arena? Like, how much do they incorporate it? You'll like it. You'll love it. You'll no, want some more of it. Mm-hmm.